So this is how you download Sleepyhead. It is a free program for tracking your data while using either CPAP or APAP on a, um, a ResMed machine, a ResMed S9, um, as well as any Philips Respironics System 1 machine. And there's another one that's not as widely used, so I'm not going to say them. <laughs> it's a devil bliss. <laughs> but anyway, what you do is you go to sourceforge.net forward slash projects forward slash sleepyhead. And then uh, what you're going to do is select uh, download right here. Um, you'll get a, a menu. What you want to do is save the file. And then you'll give the option to run the file later on your computer. It's just, just a setup executable file. So that has been downloaded. I'm going to minimize that screen. Okay, so now that it's on my desktop right here, it just says sleepyhead, but we don't actually have it yet. So we need to double click on it, double left click. Publisher is unknown, but it's Jedi Mark. We know it's good. Um, just select next for the setup wizard. Accept the terms for public license. I was asking where should it be putting the files. It's a folder, sleepy to, uh, sleepyhead. You want to create a desktop icon, sure. Next. And then go ahead and install. All right, so we finished, and we just want to go ahead and launch it. So this is a disclaimer basically saying it's only used to view the data. It's not medical guidance from your doctor. And that the accuracy is not guaranteed to use at your own risk. You agree and that then select next. So username and profile. You could password protect your data if you want. Uh, select your time and whatnot. I'll go ahead and select mine. I'm not going to password protect mine. Select next. Um, you can um, enter personal information for reports. That, that way you can take them to your doctor if you want. I'm not going to put any of that in here, mainly because I don't want you to know. Okay, so... All right, so now all we need to do is import some data. So to import data, what we want to do is go up to File, and then Import Data. Actually, let's check out Preferences first. You can select some things like ignore the short sessions, um, like if you only tried to sleep with it and you only slept for, say, uh, 20 minutes, you can set it so that it will cut out any sleep times that are like you know 20 minutes or less and then it won't even uh, import those you can select what type of mask you're using um, what kind of leak mode you would like so if you only wanted to show unintentional leaks which is exactly what I would do personally go ahead and select that otherwise it's going to give you these um, high numbers that are kind of hard to track so anyway, once you're finished with your um, options under the preferences, you can just select OK. So let's import some data. So file, select import data. And then now you need to find a place um, where your data is being held. Well, likely it is being held in the back of the CPAP machine. So I'm going to go ahead and well, first, I'm going to unplug my machine. But push in and pop out your SD card. And then I'm going to plug it into my, my laptop. 
So here you can see I popped my um, my laptop SD card. So just go ahead and minimize when the uh, card is inserted and it just shows that it accepted it. Go ahead and go into my computer and then you want to go into one of the drives, whatever says SD card on it. And you're going to select choose. And it's asking, do you want to remember this import location for the next time? And you're probably going to do it the exact same. So, you know, sure. So now you're in here and you can start looking at the data. First thing I'd do is probably expand this. Um, that way you can actually look at the data on a larger window. So anyway, that's pretty much how to get into there. Um, we can go over what some of the statistics mean later uh, in a different video. Hopefully that helped just get through the download process.